so now that we've seen the editor that we'll use to begin visual scripting, let's now take a look at input and how we can use it to control our player by making them move around. So first of all, we're going to have to create a new blueprint uh, from a character because this will allow us to walk around. We're going to call it player. And we're also going to create uh, another blueprint which is called a game mode. And our game mode uh, will allow us, it, it allows you to choose what what the player and your HUD and everything will be. Uh, we're just going to make it a uh, player. Uh, and at the moment it won't actually do anything. We're going to make it player and we're going to go into world settings. We're going to change the game mode to GM Tut, which is what I just made. Save everything. And now, of course, we need some input to be able to do things. So we need to set up some input in our input tab in our project settings. Now an action mapping is just a button so every time you press this button or whatever buttons are assigned to that mapping it will create an event in whatever blueprints you're using it in. But an axis mapping does the same thing except it, uh, each of the different uh, buttons you have assigned to the mapping has can have a different value uh, so you can use it to control forwards and backwards with only one mapping. So let's just go create one, and another one, and another one, and another one. This one is going to be forwards slash backwards. And forwards is of course W, a scale of one. And backwards is of course S, a scale of negative one because we want to we want to move negative forwards, which is of course backwards. Then we're going to have left and right, and we're going to have uh, A. For left, and now because in our blueprint we're going to use move uh, our right our right vector, we're going to make this negative one. And we're going to create a D, which will just be positive. And then we also want to be able to make our character look around, so we're going to have mouse X and mouse Y. This is going to be mouse x and this will be mouse y and so here's all the inputs we have forwards and backwards left and right our the x movement of our mouse and the y movement of our mouse let's just save it and now let's open up a player the first thing you'll notice is that we have uh, some uh, components of our blueprint our component is all the things that make our blueprint now we already have some here that's because these uh, come with the class. Uh, these are pre-made things, so you can't delete them. Um, you can edit them and change the settings. Now I'm just going to change the layout here, uh, just to make it look more like it used to. Um, because some people are still using the way it used to look, and I just like it more. Um, so we're not going to change anything in our components view, uh, except we are going to add a camera because otherwise we won't be able to see. We're just going to leave it called camera, but we're not going to put it in the middle of the character. We're going to move it up. So where the eyes would sort of be. Let's just compile and save. Okay. Now, if we play the game right now, uh, we can't do anything. We can't move around. We can't look at anything. We can just see. Uh, so let's actually add some. Uh, whoops. Let's just add some actual logic to our player. So first thing we want to do is we're going to get. Uh, forwards slash backwards. Now an axis value is just the value, but the axis event is both the event that happens when you press the buttons and also the axis uh, value that's associated with that. And we're going to add movement input. This will just allow us obviously to move. And so we're going to make the world direction. Now if we set this to just a vector, then no matter which face, which direction we were facing, it would always move in that way. And we, what we want to do, we don't want to do that. We want to move in the direction forwards and backwards in the direction that we're looking. So what we want to do is we're going to get actor forward vector. So we're going to put that into the world direction, and then we're going to put the scale direction in the axis value. Now this will allow us to move forwards and backwards. But we also want to do the same thing for moving left and right. So let's just duplicate this down here with Control W, and then get left and right and drag that in there and drag that in there and so now this will allow us to move uh, left and right except that this will also move us forwards and backwards so we want to get 
right vector. Get back to right vector and drag this in there. We compile and save, and we press play. That's pretty annoying. So let's now program the logic uh, for looking around. So let's uh, get mass x, and then down here we'll get mass y. Make sure you get in the input as well, not the uh, not just the buttons, which is what the other ones are. We're going to get add your. This will obviously rotate us around the your axis. Then we're going to add pitch. Now, if we compile and save, go back into our map and play. <laughs> then we can look left and right but we still can't look up up uh, up and down and this is because uh, at the moment we have forgotten to change a certain setting in our player so we go up here to our player we go to our camera and you type in use like I have you'll see use pawn control rotation uh, is unchecked now this will mean that when we rotate uh, the controller pitch input it won't actually rotate the camera. So let's just check that and compile and save and go back in and play. Now we can up and down and right. Notice that the camera up down is inverted. So let's just fix that by going into our input and putting it on negative one. And now if we save and play look around and everything is right with the world. So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. If you'd like to learn more about UE4 then please join me next time.